there, it's Mick Box of your eye, and uh, you're watching Ask Mick. And I have a message from Dave Hafner from Maplewood, Minnesota, in the good old USA. And it's quite a long question. He says, hi, Mick, I'd love to read a book on the biography of Uriah, Uriah Heap. There are a few. Which would you just suggest is the best and most accurate? Well, I've got to be perfectly honest, I haven't really read them. <laughs> so I can't really advise. Um, buy them all and... and, and <laughs> And set up your own library and read them all, David. I, I've got no idea, my friend. Um, now, um, you also said, I've always thought Deep Purple, Black Sabbath, and Uriah Heap were the top three bands in the day, but Uriah Heap was my all time favourite, and I thought the best of the three by far. Well, thank you very much, my friend. Much appreciated. How is it even possible that Uriah Heap had to fight to get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Uh, well, you know, um, I guess for all of you know, the Rock and Roll Hall of Famers have their own agenda <laughs> and we weren't on it. But, you know, that, that's not to say we give up hope and uh, we keep trying each year and um, hopefully it will come to fruition sometime. Um, and why is Mick Box not mentioned as one of the best rock and roll guitars of all time? Well, thank you very much, my friend. But um, once again, um, that's an accolade that it just comes at you if it comes at you great. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You carry on doing what you do best. But uh, thanks a lot, mate. Much appreciated. Um, I missed you guys a few years ago and would give my right arm to see you in the band. Heard you may return to US in 2021 or 2022. Well, my friend, yes, um, we certainly hope so. When this COVID-19 disappears into the ether, please, please, please let it go away. Um, and you, you want to know how, how you can find out if we are going to play in the Twin Cities in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Well, the best the best way is, is via our, our webpage, you know, www uriah-heap.com um that's the best way dave because um all you know all the latest news gets put up there and um that's how i find most of my information that too <laughs> perfectly honest uh anyway thanks very much for your kind words thank you very much for your message and uh let's hope we see you in america soon cheers my friend bye for now I've got the sun and the moon on the one hand, stars and the